saying things I shouldn't say. Flying off the handles, but the people. What's going on, CHS? It's going to be a great day. Here are some of your announcements. Yearbook sales will be ending tomorrow, June 10th. They will not be having any more orders after tomorrow. Yearbooks will be distributed on June 21st for those who order them. Extra yearbooks that may be available on the 21st will be sold on a first-come surf basis until they sell out. Students will be able to pay with cash. Do you want to build test prep skills, public speaking skills, and have a chance at a scholarship and make great friends? Then you should join the Academic Decathlon. Their next meeting is Monday, June 14th at 5 p.m. And the Google Classroom code is 2i6ngbi. If you have any questions, email Mr. Stewart or see him in his room S313. And this is the last chance for any students grades 9 through 11 who received the Distinguished Academic Awards honors to pick up your certificates and medals. There will be a table outside the lower gym tomorrow, June 10th, from 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. at CHS. If any student was an honoree for the 2020 Distinguished Academic Awards, they will also receive their items at this time. Any member of the class of 2021 who received the honor roll last year as a junior, but not for the senior year, may also pick them up tomorrow by that time. The Cultural Diversity Club will be having its final meeting of the year tomorrow at 2.30. Don't miss it. For anyone who is interested in girls soccer, please join the Google Classroom on, with the code on the screen. Also, there will be a mandatory girls soccer meeting tomorrow at 12.30 p.m. The Sophomore Class Student Council is having a fundraiser at Smashburger on June 16th from 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. Show your flyer to support the sophomore class. Don't miss the Spring Musical this Friday, June 11th, and Saturday, June 12th at 6.30 p.m. on the Upper Bainfield. The rain date will be June 13th at 1 p.m. Tickets can be purchased at the door for a donation. Snacks and waters will be available for purchase. Come and support the show. Are you interested in auditioning for next year's fall play? We will have a virtual interest meeting today at 2.35. Join the Google Classroom with the code on the screen. The Clifton FBLA is having a fundraiser at Chipotle on Saturday, June 19th from 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. Show your flyer and use the code on the screen. The Phoenix Literary and Art Magazine has finally been published. Please check out the talents of so many of our students and staff. It can be found at the school website under About CHS. This one is just for seniors. As you know, CAST is putting together a video for your senior class day of the year party. We need every senior to participate. The announcement with everyone's information and videos was sent to your emails and it was posted in the class of 2021's Google Classroom. So go check it out and send us your videos. The Race Club will hold its final meeting today at 2.40 p.m. We hope to see you there. As you may already know, June is Pride Month. Here's Mr. Figueroa to tell us more about its significance. Hi everyone, I'm Mr. Figueroa and I'm the advisor of the Gender and Sexuality Alliance at Clifton High School. I'm here to talk to you about LGBTQ Pride Month, which takes place during the month of June. The GSA has prepared a short video with some information about the LGBTQ rights movement and the annual parades, which usually take place at the end of June. You can also follow us on Instagram at GSA underscore Clifton Schools where we will be posting daily content throughout the month of June in celebration of LGBTQ Pride Month. We hope you find the video informative and interesting, and happy Pride! Pride Month is a celebration of the work LGBTQ plus people and their allies have done to secure equal civil rights for queer people in this nation and throughout the world. We remember pioneers like Sylvia Rivera and Marsha P. Johnson, trans women who risked their own safety to fight for equal rights for the LGBTQ plus community, even when their own community didn't understand them. In a world where LGBTQ plus people and their rights are constantly under attack and debate. Pride Month is also a reminder that the fight isn't over and that we must continue to educate, advocate, and fight for the right of every human being to live and love free from persecution.
On June 27th and 28th, 1970, gay liberation activists, as they were once called, organized marches in Chicago, San Francisco, and New York to commemorate the anniversary of the uprising at the Stonewall Inn in New York City in 1969. Although civil rights activist organizations like the Manachin Society and others had staged demonstrations and engaged in activism for quite some time, the Stonewall Uprising, where patrons resisted arrest after the gay bar was raided by police, is largely known as a seminal moment in the gay liberation or LGBTQ rights movement, propelling what had previously been modest efforts for justice and equality to the national forefront. Throughout history, LGBTQ plus people have been persecuted, fired from their jobs, kicked out from their homes, banished from their communities, subjected to medical experiments and conversion therapies against their will, and worse yet, murdered. LGBTQ pride events have helped us achieve a much safer and just quality of life in the United States and in many other nations by drawing attention to the issues that haunt this community. They became particularly important in the late 1980s and early 1990s by drawing attention to the needs of a community ravaged by the AIDS epidemic. And while we've come a long way, many of the issues still persist. Our trans brethren are losing their lives at an alarmingly disproportionate rate, and all over their nation and the world, laws are being debated to limit our rights and freedoms. Pride Month helps to reinvigorate our activism and remind us that we must continue to strive for a safer and more just world. Pride is about embracing who you are and shouting it to the world. It's about celebrating individuality, diversity, freedom, and justice. It's about demanding our rightful place at the table. So join us as we celebrate Pride Month this June and follow us on Instagram at GSA underscore Clifton Schools to keep up with all of our posts. Happy Pride! Sir Figueroa and the GSA for that very important segment. Up next, we have Nick Plaskon with the sports update. Take it away, Nick. How's it going, CHS? It's Wednesday, and I have one announcement for you guys. Yesterday, the baseball game against Livingston got canceled due to rain. We'll be playing today at 4 o'clock at Nash Park. Make sure you get there. That's it for today. I'll have more for you later this week once the final score is out. I'll see you all next time. Thanks, Nick. That was Catherine, and I'm Sarah. And, and have, have a, a It's, it's warm, warm Outside, outside Wednesday. Wednesday.